coldest day in eight months today. 51 degrees was our top temperature this afternoon when we were all out and about. The official high actually happened a couple minutes after midnight. That was closer to 60, but we're all asleep then, so that doesn't really matter. 244 days since our daytime temperature has been this cold, and it's way below our average high of 66. In fact, I don't have a lot of above average temperatures on the 10-day forecast. I'll show you that in just a second. These are also not above average. Most of us in the 40s right now. Thankfully, the wind is starting to calm down, so wind chill won't be a huge issue. But here's the drawback of that. When winds go calm, the night after a cold front, in the overnight hours, when you have clear skies, it's easier for the atmosphere to get colder, and that's what's going to happen to us tonight. But what a difference a day makes. That cold front worked. It brought us the rain as expected overnight. We had a dry day today, but right now we're anywhere from 21 degrees colder here in the Triangle to 22 in Fayetteville. It's 25 degrees colder right now in Roanoke Rapids than it was yesterday at this time, and those temperatures will continue to drop. Got the radar shut off for the next few days. There's no rain. There's very few fair weather clouds. We'll go down to 39 at 8, 37 at 10, through the mid and low 30s overnight. And again, for the first time this season, a widespread freeze for many of us. A couple of us have already done it, but most of us know. So take care of yourself, your pets, your plants, your house, whatever you need to do, because we will be below freezing as we head into Saturday morning. And it's not going to be warm tonight for Friday night football. It's the last week of the regular season. Our game of the week on Friday night splits, Rosewood at Princeton. About 40 degrees at 7 o'clock when most of the games kick off. Temperatures falling into the 30s. And the only thing I can think about is high school football and their steel bleachers. They are never warm on a hot day, let alone a night like tonight. So bring those blankets. High pressure in control. Yes, there are some clouds and rain showers south of us, but those really aren't going to bother us. The few fair weather clouds may be, but otherwise a mostly sunny weekend with chilly mornings and cool days. Again, it stays dry this weekend. It stays dry on Monday for Veterans Day. Going to be a little bit warmer, and there'll be a few fair weather clouds, but our next cold front is getting ready to move through. That will be here next Tuesday. This one's going to bring us even colder temperatures and a good chance of rain on Tuesday. Doesn't look to be a severe weather outbreak, but that's the next time you'll need the umbrella. No umbrella tomorrow. Plenty of sunshine staying cool with temperatures generally down in the sand hills about 53 or 54 degrees. Coming up I-95, you can see we'll be anywhere from 50 in Roanoke Rapids to 54 in Goldsboro. Here in the Triangle, about 52 degrees. So similar to where we were this afternoon, just with a much colder start. And again, temperatures around 50 degrees up along the Virginia border. But tomorrow morning, these are our overnight lows. So it'll be 27 or 28 along the Virginia border. About 28 here in the Triangle tomorrow morning. And just below freezing in the low 30s down in the Sand Hills. Again, it's the coldest morning since last March. But it will warm up to 52 for a high tomorrow. We're back up to 60 on Sunday. 66 on Monday, still dry with a few clouds. There's the next cold front on Tuesday with a good 70% chance of rain. And look at the cold air behind this one. Highs in the 40s next Wednesday and Thursday. More morning temperatures in the 20s. And as we go to your full exclusive 10-day forecast, guys, you can see we've got a few scattered rain showers back in the forecast a week from today and into next weekend as well. But like the lemurs.